This video is brought to you by Hollow 12. Hollow 12 biology courses are aligned with the curriculum of over 150 countries. Eye. Eyes are the sensory organs of the body that allow us to visualize the things around us and detect their color. This is possible because eyes detect visual signals and have receptors that are sensitive to color and light. The two main types of receptors in the eyes are rods and cones. The rods are responsible for detecting the intensity of the light while the cones are responsible for detecting the wavelength of the light, so help in detecting the color. Structure of the eye this transparent membrane-like structure at the front of the eye is the cornea. It bends or refracts the light so that it enters the eye. Now, take a look at the pupil. It is a tiny hole that acts as the entry point for light into the eye. The size of the pupil can be changed with the help of another part, the iris. The iris controls the diameter of the pupil and regulates the amount of light that can enter. After entering the pupil, the light reaches the lens. This is a transparent disc that focuses light on the retina so that an image is formed. This is possible because the lens can change its shape. Here, you can see an outer covering around the eye. This is the sclera that acts as a supporting wall. Inner to the sclera is another layer that provides blood supply to the eye. This is the choroid. Inner to the choroid is the retina on the back of the eye. This layer contains the receptors that detect all the visual signals and thus, detect light intensity and color. The detected nerve signals are carried to the brain via a nerve known as the optic nerve. The eye contains two chambers, one in front of the lens and one on the backside of the lens. These chambers contain fluids. The anterior chamber contains aqueous humor that provides nutrition to the lens. The fluid present in the chamber posterior to the lens is the vitreous humor. The vitreous humor helps to bend light on the retina. It also keeps the lens in place. Why don't you try our free course in A or app? Download now from where you get your apps. Or go to our website, hollow12.com. Pupil reflex. When there is a bright flash of light on your eyes, you automatically close or narrow them. The pupils of the eyes become smaller to prevent damage to the retina caused by bright light. This is an automatic action known as pupil reflex. You might have also noticed that in a dim or darkened room, initially you cannot see anything, but after a few minutes, you can see a little. This is also possible because of the pupil reflex action. This is performed by two muscle types in the eye, the radial muscles and the circular muscles. Whenever you enter a dark room or a room with dim light, you cannot see anything at first because your pupils are accommodated to bright light and are therefore smaller. In dim light, the eye receptors detect low light levels which trigger contraction of the radial muscles and relaxation of the circular muscles. This makes the pupils widen like this. A wide pupil allows more light to enter the eye and thus, you can see the objects around you in a dim or darkened room. On the contrary, when bright light falls on your eye or you move out of your house into extreme sunlight, your eyes detect the increase in light which causes the contraction of the circular muscles and relaxation of the radial muscles. This makes the pupil smaller and thus, less light enters the eyes. This protects your retina from bright light. Accommodation. Our eyes can adapt to see objects that are very near to us as well as objects that are a few meters away. This is possible because of accommodation. Accommodation is the ability of the eye lens to change its shape to focus light on the retina to form images of nearby, as well as distant objects. The ciliary muscles in the eyes are responsible for controlling accommodation. Let's see how this is done. 
Whenever you want to see an object that is far from your eyes, the ciliary muscles of the eyes relax. This pulls the suspensory ligaments that connect the ciliary muscles with the lens. Pulling this makes the eye lens thinner and less refraction occurs. This helps to focus light on the retina allowing for distant vision. When you want to see an object that is present near the eyes, the ciliary muscles contract which loosen up the sensory ligaments. This makes the lens thick and round. A thick lens refracts more light and thus helps to focus the light on the retina allowing for close vision. Go to our website, hollow12.com to find out more about our great courses. Thank you. See below for links and don't forget to subscribe. Ring that bell to keep notified of our latest videos.